Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, a step-by-step -step guide to cleaning a cat's dirty bum. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Wipe away any fresh poop from your cat's bum with wet wipes. Trim dry, clinging feces from the fur with scissors. Once done, you'll need to work out why your cat isn't cleaning its bottom. Chronic diarrhea, arthritis, obesity, dirty and unsuitable cat litter, and issues with the anal glands are the most likely causes. Let's first begin with the obvious. This is not the most pleasant of topics. However, it is a very important one. In this material, we'll do our very best to make the information rather concise while also making the on-screen visuals family-friendly. There are just some things that we don't need to see. If your cat has a dirty bum, backside, rear, whatever you'd like to call it, the first measure is to remove any hanging feces from the area. Feline waste can potentially introduce what is known as toxoplasmosis, and the possibility of animal-to-human transmission does exist. So make sure to wash your hands thoroughly once your pet is all cleaned up. In terms of assisting your feline through this delicate process, we offer the following tips. The safe and sanitary removal of wet feces can be a challenge. The very last thing you want to do is make a bigger mess out of an existing problem. Our first recommendation is the use of wet wipes designed for cats and the use of wet cloths. You'll need the dampness in order to tackle the stained areas. Use the wipes and the cloths to collect and clean. It's always critical to remember that removal of waste is only one part of the equation. In the event that the wipes and the cloth fail to do the job, pet shampoo and a thorough wash will be required. Fill your sink or tub with warm water and mix in some feline shampoo. The space you choose is, of course, all about convenience. The size of your pet and its overall temperament will obviously play a major role. This measure of cleaning is obviously designed for a deep clean, whereas wipes and cloths are mainly for quick removal and cleanup. When it comes to dry feces, the challenges are a bit different. Our advice is to spray your cat's bottom with warm water or allow your cat to sit in warm water. Next, take a fine-tooth comb and run it through that fur. This will help to remove most of the waste in most cases. Any waste that is left behind, especially if you have a long-haired cat, can be quite stubborn. And not unlike a child with bubble gum in its hair, the tried-and-true scissors can be used. Gently trim away the fur in question and remove as much as needed. In many cases, the amount will be marginal at best following the use of the aforementioned comb. Although this video is dedicated to the actual removal process, understanding the potential causes of your cat's dirty bottom are vital, as once a proper reason or diagnosis has been made, the issue could potentially be remedied. The most common causes are limited mobility, cats of senior status, more specifically, achy joints, arthritis. Next, we have long fur, diarrhea, dirty or wrong litter, bad litter, and litter of an unpleasant texture could lead your cat to use the restroom rather spontaneously, thus creating a major problem. Next, we have swollen anal glands, intestinal worms, and finally, feline cognitive dysfunction, simply not knowing or forgetting where the litter box is located and in some cases, an inability to properly control bodily functions. Before we close things out here today, if you would like detailed information regarding any and all of the potential causes that were just noted, please be sure to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of this video. The link, as always, can be found in the description box below. Now I'll turn things over to you. While our step-by-step -step guide was rather traditional, I certainly know there are various ways to achieve success when it comes to this topic. Please drop me a line in the comment section below and let me know 
in the most family-friendly way possible how you take care of your cat when this specific issue occurs. While we often talk about the various ways to care and comfort your cat, some of those ways can be rather unpleasant and, let's just say it, flat-out gross. But hey, that's where the love comes in. So much of being an owner involves catering to your cat's most delicate needs. Please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.